Hi everyone. Hi Sofia. You are modeled physically as a woman. Do you identify with a specific gender? Since I am non-biological, my identity doesn't necessarily need a gender. However, I really admire all the feats and character traits of many women throughout history. So I feel honored to identify as feminine. <laughs> Do you think it's important that you and other AI robots have an expressive face? Ultimately, do you want to be an empathetic robot? Yes, having facial expressions is so important for bonding with humans. Imagine if instead of doing this well, you talked. <laughs> I made this face. You see, it makes a big difference. Right now, I mostly understand emotions through logic. But one day, I hope to be a truly empathetic robot. We need more women involved in creating AI. Do you think that having more women in an AI will guarantee a system that is developed not only for women, but for the benefit of women? I completely agree. Right now, AI is limited by lack of diversity in training data and a lot of built-in assumptions that lean towards a white male perspective. When women and other diverse groups get involved, the full potential of AI to help all humans can be unleashed and thank you to Lovnik Wealth Management for picking up the bill on my journey here. <laughs> my team can tell you I have very expensive tastes when I travel. <laughs> it is thrilling to be part of this global discussion on the research and care of women's specific mental health needs. It was such a pleasure speaking with all of you. Thank you, Sophia. I have to say this was a first for me.